Ladies and gentlemen, dear children and young people, let me extend to you my warmest greetings from the Council of Europe. In the Council of Europe, we have worked for more than 60 years in the fields of families and children. Throughout all these years, every time there was an attempt to define the word family, we got stuck. However, there is much consensus about the role that the family should play when it comes to children. When speaking about the importance of family and the role of parents, we speak about love, nurturing, understanding, happiness, empowerment and support. Everybody agrees that these words are incredibly important for the full and harmonious development of the child's personality. Unfortunately, these are words that are not always present when describing the functions of alternative care. And yet, children who go to alternative care need more than shelter and food. If we want to secure quality in alternative care, we have to make sure that all children's needs are covered and that children's rights are promoted, respected and known to children. Ultimately, it is of course the state's responsibility to make sure that alternative care meets the highest possibly quality standards. However, we should all feel concerned. We, international organizations, researchers, care professionals, civil society, young people and children have an important role to play. We can support and advise the authorities so that progress is made as a matter of urgency. Let me just mention two things we have to do. Firstly, we need sound international standards and guiding principles such as the UN guidelines on alternative care, the Council of Europe recommendation on the rights of children in residential institutions and the quality for children standards. Secondly, we need these standards to, to be put into practice on the ground so that they are guaranteed for every child in every setting of alternative care. A powerful tool in working towards implementation is to make these standards known to the children they concern. The comic style booklet Children and Young People in Care Discover Your Rights, which was produced by the Council of Europe and SOS Children's Villages International is an excellent example. Young people were involved in the preparation of this booklet and I'm sure this is one of the reasons for its success. The Council of Europe takes the right of children to participate in decisions affecting them very seriously. This is why I'm particularly pleased that so many children and young people are involved in this conference. I can reassure you that the Council of Europe is highly committed to the issue of quality care for children. While in the past we concentrated mostly on setting legal standards, in the future we intend to focus more on the monitoring of these standards and in assisting in their implementation. There are two issues which we find particularly worrying. When we studied the implementation of the Council of Europe recommendation on the rights of children in residential institutions by our member states, we found that few countries have functioning systems of independent monitoring and oversight of their institutions. I think this is an area that is worth being looked at more closely. According to available data, about one in five children in Europe would be victim of sexual violence. We know that children living in care are particularly vulnerable. The One in Five campaign to stop sexual violence against children just launched by the Council of Europe provides an interesting opportunity to address this sensitive issue. I therefore encourage you to join it. To conclude, I'm pleased to see that more and more efforts are being made in order to keep children within their families whenever possible. Large institutions are gradually disappearing and quality of foster care is improving. The Council of Europe fully supports the ongoing reform efforts. However, there are still far too many children, many of them with disabilities, living in big 
poorly equipped institutions or other care settings that cannot cover all those children's needs. Let's work together to put an end to this situation so that also children without parental care can enjoy an environment of happiness, love and understanding. I wish you all lots of energy to continue working for this very, very good cause. Enjoy the conference.